He who, calls, who pays the paper calls the tune. The developer gets all the surveys done for this. He pays for them to be done. So the, I have yet to see an environmental impact statement that says that this development should not go ahead. I have yet to see an environmental impact statement that says that this could go ahead with huge amounts of uh, safety procedures put in place. Because if I am paying for it, nobody is going to say that I have to do it. The reality is, and the simple thing that we, we could do is that we could say that the developer pays the council to do it, and the council could actually do the environmental studies, and then we might actually see real change in this process. Thousands of tonnes of peat have slid down into, into the river on the mountain, which will make its way into the Dag River and, prob and has probably killed thousands of salmon at this stage ultimately compromising the Mourne and Foyle River system. This is the culmination of a long planning history on this site, where the, de the development, I feel, has been pushed on against the wishes of the community. This site was part of a planning application initially that was submitted in 2015 to Mbore where it was refused down to the work of the community, highlighting that environmentally it was suspect. This is a, con a serious issue he here, how applications are foisted on communities, when the and this is what we get. During the planning phase of this wind farm, the local community were able to tell the developer that the ground conditions would make this site liable to slippage, and they were ignored. It was taken out of the initial application and applied for again to the board, and it was granted. It was always felt that this was only the first step in achieving the whole development, and this has inevitably led the developer to contact the local community this week that he intends to submit an application in the coming months for the rest of the site, in which was the original um, application that, that was made. This is, a, this is blatant project splitting, and was not called out by any official organisation at any stage. Minister, this issue has been raised here today and, and as has been seen, unfortunately, in other sites around the country, such as Derry Bryan in County Galway, and Drum Cairn in Leitrim, and now Mean Bog in Donegal. How many other sites will this apply to? Sadly, this is about the government turning a blind eye to big wealthy developers. Local communities cannot rely on government to support them and their interests in, in, over the interests of developers in these cases. They know that government will use and board Panala to make sure that the applications will be granted. To add insult to injury, then there is little or no control of developments after they are given permission. Develop developers can do as they please. Even if planning, if planning permission promises to do X, Y and Z to protect the environment, there is a, no effective control to ensure that they actually do when they actually get planning permission. That is the end of the process, and nobody looks at it from that point on. And that's, that is wrong, Minister, I believe. The matter has been actively investigated by a number of statutory agencies, led by Donegal County Council, and also involving the EPA, Irish Water, the LOX Agency, the National Parks and Wildlife Ser Service, as well as Derry City and Strabane District Council. Uh, and the Northern Ireland Environment Agency, having regard to the fact that the development is a tra transboundary project? Um, it's the response, response that we would have expected uh, before today, unfortunately, Minister, and that's, that's the reality of the situation. It's, it's interesting you outline a long list of uh, agencies and acronyms there that are getting involved now. Where were they all when the planning stage was going on, when this has, happened, when this has actually been planned? Uh, I'd be very interested to know that. I'd be interested to know what communications on the Gaul County Council had with this developer prior to this taking place. That would be very interesting to know as well.